Or do we find, well, all sorts of things <laughs> in our pools, right? From bugs to gators, snakes. But yeah. at Sandpiper's Golf and Country Club in Lakeland today, a car wound up in the water with a woman trapped inside. Investigators say the SUV went over a curb through a fence into the pool. And as Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisan tells us, neighbors jumped in to help. I was getting home, going into my garage, and I heard the crash. And I looked over, and there's the car floating in, in the deep end of the pool with the lady in it. Maurice Dion didn't hesitate to help. She was a little nervous. I told, I told her to stay calm. Which would be hard for anyone to do, especially when the woman's Subaru Outback was floating in the deep end of this pool at Sandpiper's Golf and Country Club off Groose Drive in Linklet. Was floating and not touching anything, uh, you know, on the bottom of the pool. Maurice put his muscle into the rescue. I was able to pull it pull it myself and, and get it to the shallow end of the pool. By that time, he yelled for help, and another person walking by joined in. It would only settle on the shallow end and not go, go in, into the deep end, which would have been a major problem. With all doors locked and only one window open, Maurice let the car fill with water until the woman could float and they could get her out of the window. It's training he learned years ago while serving others. I was in the Coast Guard for four years when I was a young punk, okay? And I did a lot of that. I pulled people out of their homes during the floods and everything in, in the Connecticut area or up in the New England area. Decades later, he did it again, helping a woman who is okay. It brought back memories, let's put it that way. In Lakeland, Kimberly Cuisan, Fox 13 News. First responders believe the woman mistook her accelerator for the brake. That's why she ended up in the pool.